through rugby uh, because a lot of teams are doing it, and, and I think it's it's a tool. I think it's a, a necessary um, uh, tool that you have in your toolbox when it, when it comes to the spread punt and alleviates a lot of the issues that you may have uh, with the shield um, because I, I think it limits the amount of uh, uh, opportunities for, for teams to scheme your base protection. When they attempt to get overloads, you, you have an opportunity to, to, to wash some, some would-be rushers uh, because of the, the gap scheme that we implore. Um, it also, I think, it, it makes it difficult to design returns because you don't know where the ball is going to be kicked. You, you, know, you can set up a wall return to the field where the ball is punted away from the returner. How are you going to get to a wall? So we felt with rugby it, it was, a, again, a necessary evil for two reasons. One, I think it helped us from a protection standpoint. It kept our base protection alive, and, and we didn't feel like we were getting schemed that way, and we weren't seeing the, 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 the difficult overloads or, or, or movement and those things, um, and then we also felt like it, it, it limited teams' ability to, to design returns against us. But ultimately, uh, our rugby, the, the right-hand side of our, our, because we have a right foot punter, uh, we call them the call side, okay? The left side um, is the away side, okay? So if we said Roger, we're going to roll out to our right. The call side, we've described their, their technique as, as a gap scheme. They will protect their inside gap. They're going to take their normal splits and, and, and wash down anyone that's rushing in their inside gap. Okay? The away side will cut down their splits to one and a half yards. And i got a picture right here. Okay? So right guard, right tackle, right end, normal business in terms of their alignment. Left guard, left tackle, and will condense their splits to one and a half yards from one another. Okay? The gap scheme to the right hand side, again, guard, tackle, end, secure their inside gap, A, B, and C. Left guard, left tackle, left end. They will attempt to cross the face of the man in their inside gap. Okay, and we think that by doing so that that we're eliminating the possibility of those guys coming off the left side and getting to the punter's foot as he rolls out. Now, if I can't cross his face, I better shoot my hands and still get a piece of that guy. So I'm not able to cross his face, and I'm going to be physical with him. I'm not still going to allow a guy a free rush in any of my inside gap. It's left guard, left tackle, left end. Now, the shield, they will actually what we would describe as a slow shuffle. So the right shield will, will slow shuffle to his right. The PP will close the gate, continuing that slow shuffle. And then the left shield uh, will have to have a little bit more tempo in order to, to maintain the uh, integrity of the shield. But he'll put himself on the left side of the PP. The right shield's responsibilities are the number one rusher off the right-hand side. So as we wash down, he's looking outside in. Okay? The PP... And, and we're assuming, okay, we're always assuming they're going to rush five. So we're saying the right shield will take number one. The PP would take number two coming off the edge. And then you got the right end, right tackle, and right guard washing down the remaining three. Now, obviously, based on what comes at us, that may not be the case. So we tell right shield, you have number one working outside in with your eyes. So you may have to slow down if it's an inside or, or, or as, as the right end and right tackle work down, right guard work down to their, their inside gaps. Okay, that number one may not be an outside edge rusher. He may work inside the end, or it may be tighter, I guess, I guess is the best way to put it. So right shield, number one, outside it, PP, number two. So look at why, not the outside most, but look at number two to outside end. Okay, so he'll continue that course of no outside edge rush, or no number two rush. He'll just scan back, okay? And then the left shield, left shield is responsible for A gap to A gap. He'll protect front side A. The backside A, no rushes, and we describe his technique as building a backside wall so that no one can get to the punter's foot. The punter will take his normal alignment. He will roll out, obviously, to his foot side. Okay, uh, As you see it here, obviously, he's rolling out to his right, assuming the right-footed punter. It's probably a poor picture because we don't want him to, to attack the line of scrimmage. We want him to stay flat so that we can maintain uh, some distance between us and the shield. And if there's distance between us and the shield, there's distance this uh, distance between us uh, and any would-be rushers. We tell him to kick the ball on his fourth step. Um, certainly, the more time he takes, the better coverage we have, but that to secure protection, we don't overcoach it. We say it's got to be, we, we want it to be a 10-yard line drive, but ultimately, you got to find out what your guy can do. If he kicks it normal when he rolls out, have him kick it normal, you should be fine. Okay, if, if it's uh, uh, a guy's able to kick it end over end, have him do it that way. My, my biggest thing that I would recommend to everybody is don't throw this thing out 
it, it just because the guy can't kick a 10-yard line drive and end over him. You know, if he can kick it normal, uh, then, then go that direction. Okay, it, it, I don't think you lose uh, the integrity of, of the rugby punt uh, just because of the, the flight of the football. I, I think there's still a place for it from a protection standpoint, regardless of how he punts it. Um, and, and my true feeling is everyone has a guy that can execute this technique. Now, it may not be your punter, but there may be you know, your true punter, but someone in, in your program can, can roll out and get that thing off the foot to give you yourself an advantage in, in terms of what you know, I mentioned, protection and coverage. And we tell them to aim at the numbers. So that was our, our Roger. Roger protection as well as our, our rip protection. Um, I think you need to have both. Uh, I would not do the shield punt if I didn't have rugby um, because I, I think that there's, you know, it's kind of, you know, as I went through punt return, okay, know what I know from that standpoint, okay, and it kind of, you know, beginning to understand protection and those things, how to attack guys. Um, the, the, there's, there's too much in the way of, of being able to be schemed. I think you allow teams to, to set up returns, conduce it to a shield punt, knowing that, uh, the shield guys are, are contained guys. They're not great cover guys because they're big. So you're losing, the, you know, basically you're losing both your right and left shield and coverage, true coverage, although they're contained guys. If your PP ends up being another big guy, you're going to lose him. If you don't have a great snapper, you're going to lose him. So now you're down four. And then assuming, like most people, that you, you don't expect much from your punter, you're down five. So you really you only got six guys to cover. And so what we said, okay, well, we're going to take away what, what advantages a team they get on us if they understand how, how we block uh, or, or we protect, and, and if, if they haven't understand, okay, well they're taking you know six guys out or they're, they're taking five guys out of coverage. Now they have the ability to, to double some guys uh, on the front line and those things. So the, the rugby for us was a great answer um, and, and something that that you know as I looked at it, I wish I had the numbers in front of me, but I think it ended up being um, we were about 50-50 overall rugby. Uh, to normal, normal punt. Uh, we also came up with a couple bastard sets uh, to to keep teams game playing and that stuff. But um, that 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 is uh, the best I could do in an hour in terms of both our punt return game and and, and our uh, our punt team. So.